All right, y'all. I had to end that because I started rambling. I ramble a lot, so uh, fast forward if you need to. But basically, Jim and I had a few. They didn't have as many this month um, as previous months, but I'm going to go ahead and just do that because I'm nosy and I like um, have some type of connection with Gemini's because I can't seem to get away from Gemini's or Cancer's. So let's go ahead and look at what's going on with the collective Gemini anybody that's a Gemini watching this or a cross watcher if you want to watch it go ahead it may or may not include you but that's just how life is so Gemini what is going on with you the tough stuff what's the tough stuff or anything that's going on with Gemini what is Wow, we have mental health issues. So that can be anything from um, being emotional, overly emotional, um, depression, anxiety, um, to some of the harsher ones, bipolar, schizophrenia. So if you've been feeling moody or your moods change a lot, you could definitely have an issue. Go ahead and um, maybe go get a physical or something. Um, but I feel like a lot of the Geminis out there are in, I'm picking up on depression. I feel like there's something that is just weighing heavy on them right now. Or you guys, sorry. Um, Geminis right now with these mental health issues. And I feel like you might cry. Like, I feel like you cry by yourself. And you're just in so much pain. Like, looking at that just makes me feel sad. <clears throat> making plans so stubborn on vision flexible on details making plans so i really feel like a lot of you are making plans to move out of that type of energy or whatever is causing it you're trying to make plans so that way you can move away from whatever it is that's causing these mental mental health issues single ready to mingle That came out in Capricorn. So a lot of you could have just um, ended a relationship or struggling to end a relationship. So you're making plans on figuring it out. But I really feel with the mental health issues coming out first, I feel like this is something that's an uh, um, emotional type of state, like emotional state for you. And it's like you're making plans to get out there and start dating. Maybe something didn't work out with somebody and um you're choosing to just go out and date but it's like or you could just be tired of dating actually single ready to mingle that could be the face that you're putting on for people that oh i'm happy being single but really deep down you're not that's what i'm getting so you're trying to figure out how to get out of being single without showing that you don't want to be single does that make sense because if it doesn't make sense that's pretty sure what Gemini is about um <laughs> that is so crazy I really feel like that's what it is you put on a show that oh I'm happy being single but you really don't want to be single and you're trying to figure out how to get out of that without showing it's like it's a sign of weakness for you if you show that you actually care about somebody or you want to be in a relationship that's what I'm getting. I'm going to get one more card. Damn. We have seduction. So. And we have soulmate. At the bottom. We're not going to read that one because we don't want to know. Okay, so. With soulmate at the bottom, you are looking for your soulmate, Gemini. And it's like, this has been a path of a lot of pain that you have been going through and i feel like the single life is is enticing to you because you have the ability and regardless of it being female if you're a male you can watch this too i feel like you have the ability to just sleep around with everybody and it's like that's what's enticing you but you really want your soulmate you really want your soulmate and you're trying to detach because we have spell work underneath and that's in reverse. But I feel like maybe you feel like you're attached to somebody. Oops, wrong. Way. So 
seduction. Single, ready to mingle. So yeah, you have options is basically what this is saying to me. And it's like you're trying to make plans to move towards your soulmate. And it's weird because it's like, it's kind of like a journey. So it's like you're starting off in an emotional wreck. Like you don't know where to go, what to do, and you're making plans. And while you're making plans to get to that end goal, you have to go through stages. So you're going through like, you know, the whole phase or the whole phase, single ready to mingle. Oh my God, this, oh, this is making me feel weird. This is really, cause I've seen this before and I didn't want to mention it. I don't know if you guys could see it. This is the female here and we have seduction. And it looks like a man hand. It really looks like a man hand. So some of you in your quest of dating, you may have come across a man at some point that looked like a female, but you found out that it was a man. A strong man. I had to say that. So, I mean, you ain't got to tell nobody your business, but you might have gotten caught up with somebody that was transgender. That's what I'm thinking. Somebody transgender, and they're very beautiful, and they look like a female. So, we're just going to keep moving on from that, because I feel, I, every time I see that card, what's the wrong one? Um... Yeah, there we go. Every time I see that card, I see that strong hand popping out. I said that strong hand. And I have nothing against that. Like, I'm not, you know, being rude. I'm just saying that, you know, this could be somebody, a Gemini, that has gone through this dating phase and ended up, you know, if it was a heterosexual male ended up being attracted to a transgender unknowingly. Um, but that's just a side note. I don't feel like that's like the main story. I feel like the main story here is trying to get to your soulmate. Gemini is wanting to find somebody that understands them. So again, we have healing waters. <laughs> this came out for Capricorn and I just shuffled these. So you as well need to stop lying to yourself, hiding your feelings, because water is about like emotions. If you think about the cups and the tarot, it's all about emotions. So I feel like you are needing to heal yourself or be honest and true to yourself and get away from something that is not beneficial for you because this person came from the desert and they found like a whole lot of water so it's like if you keep moving on in your life you will end up finding what you what it is that you need but you have to heal yourself you have to be honest with yourself because foxes of course represent like lying and sneaky um but definitely even the even the fox is getting some drink <laughs> So some things need to be spoken and not, um, you know, bottled up, I feel. And I already said that you were emotional. Make a move. Again, more water. So this has a lot to do with water. So I don't know, you could be dealing with an earth and a water sign. Um, but making a move is about putting action towards something. So if there's somebody that you are interested in, you need to make a move. Like, you need to go towards them if that's what you want. <clears throat> Cleansing body and spirit. Again, water. I really feel this has a lot to do with you coming into your emotions. Like, you can't keep blocking your emotions. And cleansing your body and spirit. You, this could be about spirit, spiritual baths, um, washing away the day, just getting in tune with yourself. I really feel like that's what that is. 
and you have like the white cat so it's about purity and cleansing yourself and you know being fresh yeah so definitely some of you need to go within so that way you can you know open up your emotions your emotional side what's next Let's See, look, it always starts going faster every time I, like, start knowing what I'm doing. I should have known this way. I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight. I'm sleepy. Um, okay. Oh, my God. I'm shut the mic for a Oh my god. I couldn't get this in order. Alright, so this says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Oop, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut. So that's the front. And then this, the back. So this goes along with making a move. So it's like, what are you waiting for? I feel like you are preventing yourself from moving forward with somebody or something. And it's like, why? Like, what is the reason you're holding yourself back? Like, I know you're making plans because we have that up here. But it's becoming like an emotional thing. Like, you're, I feel like you're trying not to let something in. Is what I'm getting from you. They broke your heart. F them. Wow. So that's. I think I said that earlier about you being in a relationship and it caused you to break down. And now you're trying to embrace your singlehood to get to your soulmate. But you're going through different phases. And seduction, it could be bad and it can be good. Seduction is like, if you use it correctly, no one's going to get hurt. But with seduction, I'm thinking also of like devil energy, um, toxic uh, addictions. Like you don't think when you're in that seduction, like when you're just really just wanting something, if that makes sense. I don't know how to say it. But definitely this has something to do with some type of heartbreak. <sighs> Yep, and it left you at the bottom. We have you're the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink. So that basically says that you are feeling down because of something not working out. Somebody broke your heart. So Gemini. Let's look into this. making plans why is this on the set thank you one more oops oh my god I'm like being clumsy right now so I think that something made it to where you are like knocked off your like off kilter, unbalanced or something. Yeah, we have two swords. So you're trying to um, make a com make a comeback like you have been knocked down um you've been mentally and ten of swords is about like swords are about clarity so this is all about mind and it's clarifying the mental health issues so basically you've been knocked down <clears throat> either by this relationship or something has knocked you down 
and you're trying to remove the those burdens and blockages with this ten of swords so making plans you got page of swords and eight of pentacles so i feel like right now you're working hard and you actually might have your eye on somebody or something and you're trying to make a plan to work towards that you're making plans to work for it or work work towards it so, you know, this could also be about your money with the Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to like get your money straight. And then again, with the Page of Swords, this is somebody that's, um, you know, like watching. So you might be watching or in the early stages of planning something, trying to get information about it. And again, that's more of your mind. And it is your sign. Air sign, um, swords are the air signs, if that makes sense. Um, you have King of Pentacles in the reverse, so <clears throat> you're feeling like you're without financially unstable, relationship-wise unstable, not having enough. Um, and then you have the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> so I feel like you were putting all of your efforts into one person or situation and it fell through and that's why you don't have as much as you want right now. Like you don't have the things that you want. So this, if we're talking about relationship terms, which I'm just going to go ahead and keep it that way, I might jump around. But I feel like you put all of your in, energy into one person and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. And you were juggling multiple things, like you had two people. You're trying to hold on to two things because they both made you happy. That's what I'm getting from that. But you probably ended up going leaning towards one way, chose somebody else. It didn't work out. You may be, may have even lost money um, with this person. <clears throat> yeah, we have Knight of Swords in the reverse. Let me clarify that one. Yeah, we have, okay, you have the devil card in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse. So you lost hope and logic went out the window. So you didn't think things through with the situation. And now you're trying to pick up the pieces. You don't know how to communicate that your toxic behaviors that you were getting involved in or indulging in because it's right under seduction led to some issues and you don't know how to communicate that and i feel like you don't know how to communicate it with yourself but you are trying to work on getting out of that negative energy type of with the devil card in reverse and you're needing to like figure out how to do so We have Ten of Cups in reverse here. So you need to work on some things. Because Ten of Cups is about like stability, emotional stability. Um, just enjoying life with friends and family. Having everything that you've ever wanted. But it's in the reverse. So you're needing to work to get to this point. Eight of Swords. You're standing in your own way. You're the reason why you aren't moving forward because you're feeling like you're chained up and that you're like in bondage in some way. And maybe this has something to do with like, you know, the aftermath. Maybe there's something holding you back with the Eight of Swords, but that's mental. Again, mental conflict. Geminis, I think, are known for really always like logical or thinking thought process. But we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So you're not thinking that anyone is good enough for you, not willing to accept any offers from anybody, and that's underneath the single, so maybe you enjoy being single. Um, we have Nine of Swords in reverse, so you're trying to come out of this um, 
this devil energy like addictions um overindulging that's why i'm gonna say overindulging and it could be overindulging in sex you're trying to come out of that because when you're in that energy you're overwhelmed you can't sleep you feel haunted by things like you feel like something is there and it may not physically be there but i feel like it's mentally you know in your head that what you know getting involved in that type of lifestyle is not beneficial to you is not helpful but you do it anyway and i really feel like that's because you were surrounded by negative people or people that do those things and you're trying to compete and be on their same level but that's not you if that makes sense like you're outgrowing that um ten of wands in the reverse as well so it's like you're trying to remove any blockages any struggles in your life you're trying to find your passion again <clears throat> We have the moon card that talks about secrets. So maybe you're holding on to some secrets that you don't want people to know about. So this is like somebody that's very private. We have Knight of Cups. Like this is giving me like show off type of energy. So it's like you're looking for others to validate you. You want them to see you. You want them to notice you with this Knight of Cups. So that can have something to do with ego as well. The Hierophant, like authority. Why is the Hierophant here? <clears throat> hmm. So the Hierophant is like a spiritual it could be a spiritual or authoritative authority figure something that somebody looks to to make decisions or answers um it could be that you were deceived by somebody maybe this person was actually married and you didn't know because they were being deceptive because it looks like you know the church somebody you trusted that's what I feel. Somebody you, you trusted was being deceptive and betrayed you in some way. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> My daughter is ready to go to bed. Um, uh, hopefully, I remember where I left off. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit in reverse. So you are wanting to come out of um, hiding um I feel like you, let me see, it's a pinnacle. Yeah, you don't feel like you have enough to offer someone. You're trying to hold on to like the little bit that you have, either financially or just your love and your heart. Um, but you are wanting to communicate with someone. But I feel that you're going to kind of like test the waters a little bit. You feel them getting away from you. So I do feel like you do want to come out and maybe express something to somebody. Because um, like I said, you have the two of pentacles here. So I feel like you were juggling two people, chose one way, it didn't work out. So now you might be trying to run back to the other option. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I to say that. So it's like you took a time out and now you're trying to come out of that. So that way you could discuss with this person. So let's look at the person that you didn't choose. Like what they're... Their feelings are towards you. I'm getting sleepy. So I feel like one person broke your heart, and you know the other one is kind of like a backup. I hate to say it like that, but I feel like that's what's going on. I always hate to see like the moon card, the seven of swords, lots of stuff. Yeah, the queen of wands is in the reverse. So your other choice, that's how we're going to refer it to. Hold on just a second. 
detergent. Wow. All right, so your other choice is kind of feeling like they're not feeling like they're good enough. They're not like enthusiastic, joy, um, you know, happy, fun. They're kind of like wondering what did they do wrong? <laughs> Trying to figure out like why did it happen this way? You have seven of wands and then two of wands. <clears throat> so you're a person, the other person that wasn't chosen. I don't know why I'd say that. They're starting to tell themselves they're trying they're trying to make a decision as well for themselves and in the process they're trying to go within and block out anything that is going to disrupt their their like zen their happiness so it's like it took this situation for them to get knocked down to feel like they're not like the top person and now they're making a decision to focus on themselves with the seven of wands and block out anything that's trying to disrupt their life negatively so it's like protection the person the other person is protecting themselves <clears throat> wow you have the lovers in reverse yeah i don't they're protecting them so they're not even really even they're starting to feel like they don't want to be in a partnership like they don't want to join together Oops. Yeah. Too many. I know I should probably take it. I'm going to take it. So we have six of pentacles in the reverse. Now your person is taking the person that used to give all of their love, which is the one that you didn't choose. They're taking back, not taking back, but now they're, they're setting boundaries and they're kind of seeing other people where they're coming from. And the other person is needing to show them how invested they are. Yeah, three of cups. They feel like they were in the third party, that it wasn't just them. We have the judgment card here. So they're, they, this situation caused them to go within and really try and figure out what it is that they want that's going to make them happy as well. Temperance in reverse. They got tired of waiting. They don't have any patience with this anymore, with this connection. Five of Wands, they feel like they were always struggling to be the winner, the, to be on top. Um, you might have had this person fighting for your affection with other people. And they were everybody's goal was to try and win your heart. And this person feels like that was too much. <clears throat> yeah, they don't want to nurture. They don't want to give to this connection anymore. The one that you left behind. We have the higher font here for them as well. Yeah, they're trying to go within and find like a higher, they're trying to go find guidance. I feel like this is what that is. They're trying to find guidance on what they should do. We have Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like they're giving to themselves. They're investing in themselves. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're investing in themselves and they're walking, they're moving away. They're taking their offer that they had and they're leaving with it. Yeah, and Ace of Wands at, um, in reverse at the bottom. Like, they don't have a passion for this anymore. They don't have a passion for this connection. And they're keeping this from you. You have the Moon card here. So this person's not telling you that. But I feel like you can feel that they're they're taking their um, energy away from you. They're releasing you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They see you as somebody that's not loyal or stable. They're done with the like betrayal, the sneakiness. They feel like this is a dead end. Wow. And they don't even want to start over. <sighs> Dang, Gemini. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Um, 
And back to that, like you, I feel like you're you're seeking guidance too. You probably feel like everybody's seeking guidance, but your person really, the other person, I should say, they're really done with it. They're they're getting tired and fed up with this. Like for real, for real. I don't see any cups, ace of cups or anything. I feel like they're just done. They are make, making a decision not to put any more time into this. Because all it was was just a game. Or they felt it was a game. And that could come from, you know, poor communication and not speaking up. Ooh. Yeah. I bury myself in work so I won't think about you. Hmm. That could be you, actually. <laughs> healing. So, yeah, Gemini, you're healing yourself from a broken heart. And this might not even be recent. It could have been something from the past. Somebody that you trusted and they betrayed you. And so, that's why you are the way you are. Our souls already know each other, don't they? It's our bodies that are new. I think that came out in, oh my gosh, these came out in, I think these came out in Capricorn. So this person that is now that you didn't choose, there's a connection there. There's a connection. You have telepathically communicating with you. Your soul always knows what to say. So you look for this person to be, your empress, but they're in the reverse. So this person is not giving you the type of telepathic communication that you're used to. My soul cries for you. Yeah, Gemini, you're in your feelings, but I doubt you would be telling anybody that. You don't want people to know. When you call out to me, I can feel you. Again, telepathic communication. Being without you has been so hard, but until I can give you what you deserve, I must stay away. Yeah, you probably are dealing with a Capricorn. I shouldn't even did this after. That's so crazy. That is crazy, crazy. Distorted feminine. Hmm. Some of you had a mother figure in your life that wasn't actually there for you in the way that you needed. This person looks scared. So maybe this person wasn't, this mom actually could have had some mental health issues. And the child just never knew what face the mom was going to be having yeah, anxiety and the emperor in reverse. So I feel like this is you, Gemini. I feel like you have a lot of anxiety around this connection. Um, and you don't feel like you're in your power right now. And at the bottom, I'm longing for a part of myself that I'm running from. So I feel like when you get deep into stuff, you run. You don't stick around. But that the emotions make you so uncomfortable. Maybe you grew up in a household with like a feminine that controlled everything. And once you got your independence, it was kind of like you had to be the one that was always in control. And I'm getting sleepy too much today all right so you're one of a kind and that actually goes along with the queen of wands queen of wands is somebody that's one of a kind too but it's in the reverse so your other person is feeling this way because of this connection and you're telling them that they are one of a kind like you can't find what they provide to you and anybody else <clears throat> Oops. 
Yeah, if I should have been more honest with you. That was in Capricorn reading. I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. So that goes with the whole thing. This ten, Two of Pentacles, you chose the wrong person. You thought this other person was going to be a better fit for you. Um, and they ended up being fake. That's pretty much what I get from that. I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. So now you're working on it towards the other one that wasn't chosen. Because you're realizing that that person is who you want to be with. And who's better for you. I'm healing. So we have healing here twice. Um, I feel like both of you need to heal, but more so you. Because we have healing here twice. So I feel like the reason you close off to people and you don't really let them know how you feel is because you are healing yourself from past hurt. Um, I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. That is uh, Capricorn. That came out in Capricorn's reading. I'm working on myself. So, Gemini, you really are trying to make things better for your your yourself. You know, you're making plans. I see a lot about healing, working on yourself. <clears throat> play, play, yep. This right here, being a player, is what led you to have this this these problems, this situation. Oops. I think I just said seeing addicted. The last time we were together, so whenever you last seen this person, it kind of solidified for you. I didn't know what to say. So last time you seen this person or you didn't know what to say. You are my destiny. This is what you're telling them and Jeepers Creepers. So you watch this person. You don't communicate with them, but you watch them. Our separation still affects me. So you guys aren't talking to each other. Let me do this one and then I'll be done. Because I'm getting sleepy. These are going on long tonight. Gemini's have, and they're almost going to be Leo's, I always say. Or cancer actually but Gemini's really have a hard time expressing themselves like I said I've dealt with Gemini's I don't even I think I have Gemini in my placement my birth chart like once but it's not enough to actually be a Gemini Oops. I'm focused on other things so Gemini I feel like that's what you're doing that's why you can't give to a relationship. Hopefully the more I use these, it won't be so stiff. I love you. Gemini, yeah. you're in your feelings. I really feel like that. It's true. You're just not gonna tell this person. <laughs> It'll be a surprise if you do actually reach out and tell this person how you treat them too. Ooh. Okay, so I guess connecting in a sexual way solves problems. I don't know. I think that you use the sex to um, feel connected. I think that's how you... Oops, damn, why did I turn this over? I'm different now. I've changed. I still feel like you're working on that. Let's get back together. You're going to hear from me soon. I think I just said that. Maybe they're going to tell you something. Someone is chasing. Someone is running. Always. I feel like you guys, you and this other person that wasn't chosen, you guys switch these these roles. One minute somebody's chasing, the other one's running, then you guys flip it. So it's like a lot of games. Why are you so cold? So you feel like your person, like I've already told you, is cold because they're tired. Your person is tired. They've probably stuck it out as much as they could and they're giving up hope. That's why they're cold. So if you feel like you're losing somebody and they're not doing the same stuff anymore is because that's really what's happening. You know, when you juggle too many people or too many things, you can't focus on one person. So, I feel like that's what happened. Let me get one more and all these things. I'm not keep saying that. This is going to be a long one. 
I want to exchange energy with you. Just connecting. I got feelings for you. You make me feel something. So genu uh, genuine. <laughs> Gemini. The other person that you didn't choose. I think that's why you didn't choose them. Because they made you feel something that you weren't ready to feel yet. I'm insecure about us. Yep. Yeah, the Gemini, this is all you. I watch you on social media. I can't get over you. I'm trying to move on without you. <laughs> I think this is the other person. I regret how things went between us. Yeah, dang, Gemini. Like, for real. I'm insecure about us. Like, you're afraid that you actually lost this person. So, you watch them and see what's going on. You can't get over them. All right, Gemini. Hopefully, everything works out. Um, but that's the reading for you guys. The extra reading for September. Let me know how you guys feel about that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.